Hello friends, it's Ruth with BodyByRuth.com. Today we're gonna do a bar workout. I want you to grab some light weights, two or three pounds that you can use for a lot of repetition for the upper body. This is gonna be about 30 minutes long, so grab some light weights. If you don't have them, grab some water bottles and let's get warmed up. We're gonna start right here with a chair. Take your arms out. Nice. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that left leg, tap it back. Four. Three, two, and hold. Pivot, I want you to reach forward. Your front knee is bending, your back leg is straight. Side view, it looks like this. Two more, and one. Take this arm right against the thigh. We're gonna go down towards the floor. Eight and seven, six. It's a sunny day, wrapping up the month of February here. We've had a little bit of a cooler week. Two and one. Come back to the center. Little lunge right here. But I'll take it because we get these little gifts of like sunny afternoons, which is a nice welcome. Two and one other side, lunge it back. Almond thong, we've been talking about ways we can love ourselves with self-love, things like facials and exercise and hydrating and real food that makes your body energized without inflammation. We talked about how we talk to ourselves with positive affirmations and words. Hold it here, pivot, reach forward. This is the side view. And if you think about self-love for yourself and how you talk to yourself, how do you talk to a friend? That's the same thing that you'd want to communicate to yourself. And of course, it's a Sunday that as I film this, I love to practice some self-care on a Sunday. Wear a facial, whiten your teeth, put a hair mask on, do some gentle movement, sip something that's hydrating, that's good for you. Take this elbow on your thigh and reach. We'll do eight more, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Pivot back to the center and lunge. Nice. Eight, seven, six, five, take your arms out, four, bring them in and out right here. Awesome. Give me another eight, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. I want you to push through that front heel roll the shoulders back. We're gonna take it to a backstroke. Nice big arms. Swing the arms forward and back. Let's add a little squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Awesome job. All right, let's get started with our very first move. We're gonna be doing a side lunge. We're gonna be building this, adding on, but to start, just a side lunge. So you're going to lunge, push off, Your toes should be pointed straight ahead. We'll do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. It's a heel pop. Three, two, one. All right, hold it here, add a heel pop, and then push off. Now, while you heel pop, I want you to take your weights. You're gonna push them out in front. So lunge, heel pop and push. Good, let's do four more like that. And then we're gonna add a passe with a press. Two, one, and we're adding on step, pop, passe. Step, heel pop, passe. Step, heel pop. Nice. Eight more. When we do that heel pop, you're gonna notice the inner thigh activate. Last one. Nice. Awesome, all right. From this position, I want you to keep those weights over your head, kind of doing a karate kid. Bring the knee in right here. Elbows come into your knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, press it out. All right, let's do the same thing. We'll repeat it and build it the same way on the other side in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, side lunge only. Lunge, push off. While we're here, I'm just gonna rest my weights at my hips. Nice, let's do eight more. Then we'll add that heel pop. Last four, three, two. All right, add that heel pop. Lunge, heel pop, push off. Three more, we're gonna add that push. Two, one. All right, let's add that push. Lunge, heel pop, press it out. Nice. Keep your abs in. Your strong core will help you push off. It will help you with balance. We have less balance when we lift that heel. And three, last two, and one. All right, let's add that passe. So lunge, pop, press and passe. Lunge, pop, yep. Nice work. All right, talking again about that self-love. How have you been working on that this month? I also was doing a romance challenge with my clients where we were focusing on bringing the heat to our relationships. That was fun. I did that with Shailene Johnson. Four more. Four. Last three. Two. One. Good, now hold that dumbbell over your head. Bring the knee up. 
and in, up, in, up. Exhale, inhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Fantastic. All right, we're going to take the attention to our shoulders for a bit. We're going to start with a big snow angel. Palms are going to be facing the camera the whole time, okay? So up, up down, down, up, up, good. Four more with a full up, up, and then we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Two, one, good. A little bit smaller, so bend those elbows right here. All right, we're gonna add an abduction. I want you to soften your right knee, and it's here. Okay, so circle arms, hitting the delts. Eight, seven, six, five, and four more. We're gonna change the arms. We're gonna keep this abduction. We're gonna push the right arm out. So it looks like this, it's out and in, out and in, out and in. Good, speed that up. Boom, 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 yep. Eight more, we'll slow it down again. Seven, six, five, four, three, back to slow. Out, out, in, in. You're gonna feel this in your obliques. Out out, in, in, out, out, good. Four more, four, and three, and two, last one, awesome. All right, we're gonna repeat that, starting with those big snow angel arms. This time I want you to come to your tippy toes. So we're gonna work on your balance, it's up, up, down, down. What happens to your abs when you go to your tippy toes? You automatically pull them in. Up and two, up, up, down, down, up, up, good. We'll do four more and three on two and one. I want you to hold those arms, or on one, hold those arms over your head and go to your toes. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Nice. All right, add a little push. Push, 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 push. Feeling that burn in the calves. So good, four, three, two, and one, release. All right, smaller motion, bending those elbows. Get ready, we're gonna abduct on the other side, and two more, and last one. All right, lean, abduct, up, up, lower, lower, exhale, Inhale, squeeze. Up, up. Good. All right, changing it to this arm. We're pushing and abducting. Push. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. All right, we're going to a single squat. Let's keep the weight in your left foot. Your right knee is gonna be bent. Starting with just a single squat, the focus is on this left leg in the quad, the calf, and the glute. Nice. Let's add a curl. Squat, curl. Thumbs up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, make it a tricep kickback. So push it back, camera curl. Looks like this from the side. Keep that heel lifted, back is flat. Push in your arms. Nice, now deltoid raise. Right here. Four more. Three, two, one more set. You're gonna do a frontal raise on the stand. Down, stand. You should be feeling some burn. When you do, yell out, fire. That's the word of the day. Fire will be a reminder that you're toning, lifting, sculpting, building lean muscle. Give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, pedal pushers, a little segue before we do the other side. Bend your knees, alternate the heels. All right, we call this a pedal pusher. This is the side view. When we do this, you are making those quads work a little harder. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's repeat the awesomeness on the other side. Single leg squat, ready, just those legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, let's repeat that awesomeness on the other side. We're gonna start with that uneven squat, legs only, right here. Nice. Give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. We're gonna add the biceps in three and two. Add the biceps right here. It's squat, curl, squat, Curl, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tricep kick back, it's back, hammer curl. Push it back, nice. Eight, seven, Six and five and four and three and two lateral raise eight seven six five four three two frontal raise squat lift it good job Feeling that burn, yell it out. Fire! Nice. Last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. All right, tap it out. We're going to do a double step touch. We're gonna to be adding various arms for fun. So starting on the left, four, three, two, here we go. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, 
One, good. Four, three, two, slow delta wave, lift, lift, other side. Good, just double step. Excellent. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Four more. And then we're gonna take one leg back. You're gonna feel the amazingness in the glutes. Two more. Last one. All right. Left leg back. Push those arms. Tap, tap, tap. Here's the side view. Eight, seven, six, five. Continuing with that tap, let's touch the calf right here. Good. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four, three, two. Double step touch. All right, fire. Yell it out if you felt it. Nice. All right, we're gonna add a fly. I want you to open the chest. We're here. Open and close. Double. Great job. Get ready to hold. All right, other foot is back. Tap it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Tap the calf. Back tap, back tap, back tap, back tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Double step touch. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do a double step touch. Two tap backs each side. Four, three, two, double step touch. Back for two, other side. Double step touch, back for two. Punch those arms. Double, great. Two more. So good. All right, double step touch. Arms are out and in. Abs are tight. Support your spine. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Be good when alternating curtsy. Palms will push out and up. Right here. Curtsy, curtsy. Great. We're gonna isolate one side. After the curtsy, we'll add a passe. In four, three, two, one. Hold this side, curtsy and passe. Palms down on that passe, palms up on the curtsy. And push out, curtsy, passe. Eight, seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. All right, same thing. Other side, be curtsy. Curtsy, passe. Palms down on the passe. Push. Palms up, palms down. Palms up. Beautiful. We're hitting shoulders, biceps, triceps, glutes. 
Excellent. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And rest. Well done, everybody. All right, we're going to go to the mat. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells, grab a sip of water and hit the mat. All right, hopefully you are hydrated. Let's warm it up. We're gonna start with a roll up. Arms are over your head, come up in two. It's up, up, back, back. Exhale, inhale, up, up, back, back, up, good. Four more, four, three, two, all right, last one. I want you to spread your legs. When you come up, I want you to reach to the opposite toe. So up, reach, exhale, inhale, up, reach, four, three, this is a basic Pilates move. I call it the bread and butter. Last one and rest. All right, another basic Pilates move is rolling like the rolling like a ball. We're gonna turn the volume down just a little bit. All right, I want you to place your hands around your shins. My back is rounded slightly. I'm gonna roll to the nape of my neck and then come up. Try not to let your feet touch your mat. It's back up hold and back up hold and back up hold back up hold two more back up hold and back up and rest all right another pilates basic bread and butter is the pilates 100 take your hands to your side if you need a little assistance you'll keep your feet on the ground Lean back. I want you to pulse the palms. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Feet come off if you're able to take it up a notch. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Good job. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Four more. And then we're going to put that roll up and the Pilates 100 together. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, exhale, and rest. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna do a rolling like a ball. We're gonna come up, we're gonna pulse our hands for four, and then we're gonna repeat it. We're gonna keep on layering for total body awesomeness. All right, so it's gonna be back, up, We're here, back, up, pulse, two, three, four. Now I'm not gonna touch my legs. It keeps it more seamless, but if you need to, that's okay. And back, up, four, three, two, one. Back, up, four, three, two more. Back, up, four, three, two, one. Back, up, four, three, two, rest. That was great, okay. We're gonna add another layering piece. All right, so we're gonna add on another move. We're gonna do our basic roll up. When we come to the top, we're gonna do something called a Shazam. You're gonna take your legs and you're gonna open them up. I want you to clap your hands underneath. We'll do eight, here we go. Eight and touch and seven, touch six, Touch. you're doing amazing five look at the flat abs I want you to envision them envision your strong healthy body in your 40s in your 50s in your 60s and rest awesome all right bring your hands to your ankles lift one foot 
lift the other foot. Good, you're holding. I'm gonna go sideways so I'm not doing, giving you a crotch shot. Open your legs. Four, three, two, bring them together. Four, three, two, open. Four, three, two, together. Four, three, singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now here's another challenge. You can either stay here, if you need it to be easier, bend your knees, hold your hands underneath. Can you take your arms up without touching your feet? I'm gonna roll back up. Okay, let's try that right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. You can see that's a nice little challenge, really makes you work your core. All right, come to your forearms. Make sure you're not shrugging your ears into your shoulders. Lift them. Knees are into the chest. We're gonna hold four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, try not to let that foot touch. Hold for two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Well done. All right, bring those legs straight up. Okay, this next move combines three of my favorites. We're gonna start with the reverse, or sorry, we're gonna start with a toe touch, and then we're gonna do a reverse crunch, put your hands underneath your glutes, and then a double leg lift. The double leg lift definitely is more challenging. If you need a modification, you'll do one, and then the next time you'll do the other. So I'll start with basic so you see it, and then we'll do advanced. Ready, four, three, two, it, reach, reverse, and double, and reach, reverse, double. Oops, I was supposed to start basic. Give me one leg, and reach, reverse, one leg, reach, reverse. Try to get those glutes lifted off the mat. Nice, reach, reverse, Reach, reverse, both if you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and awesome all right we're gonna finish with some shoulders and obliques I want you to start on your side we're gonna do a forearm plank if you need a modification for this just keep your bottom knee down you'll be here all right everyone else come up we hold for eight seven six five four three Two, dip the hip, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now twist, it's through and rise. Turn your belly towards the mat. Your modification, you're here. Turn and lift and turn and lift and turn and lift and turn and rest awesome all right hike your legs we're gonna do a set of v-ups modified version top elbow top thigh advance we're bringing them both up together we have 12 12 11 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got it, 
Cherry on top, we're gonna hold at the end. Two, hold it here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shazam! Awesome. All right, going to do the same thing, same sequence on the other side. Starting with your forearm plank, lift your arm, ready, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, dip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, turn. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and rest. That was amazing. All right, V-ups. Remember your low option, top leg only, advanced, both together. This is it, ready, then we stretch. 12, here's your low. Okay, I'm coming to my forearm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Well done. Let's stretch it out. All right, spread your legs. We're going to reach. How do you feel? I have to be honest, I feel so much better. I was a little bit sad today. I felt a little bit kind of down in the dumps, maybe a little bit on the pity pot. My husband has been traveling a lot and I'm home by myself 90% of the time. And I today was just feeling tired of it. I was tired and none of my friends were available to hang out. It was such a great day to hike or bike and no one could do it. And I'm not a let's go hike by myself type person. I'd rather do it with friends, reach forward. But I knew that getting outside would totally elevate my mood as would some movement. So take that cue from me even fitness professionals this is my livelihood i know the importance of movement and getting outside it is a huge mood booster take this arm across excellent put this hand in the center and reach so other things I do to boost my mood are shop. I might do that today too. And clean and organize. Um, I've been redoing my laundry room, which also houses my pantry. So that has been a project for the last two weeks because I was waiting on our new sink. We ordered one, we didn't like it. We had to get a new one. Um, the right shelves painting, just all of it. And then the pantry, I took everything out and it was organized before, but you know, things get in there that are two years old, maybe three, and it was time to just kind of reorganize, which totally elevates my mood too. I wanna know, do you love to organize things? I've been doing pretty much a room, a drawer, something every week and it is very satisfying. Take this leg across, bring an elbow in and look over your shoulder. So when I go into my laundry room, when I go into my pantry, now it totally makes me smile and I feel really good. I did take out some things that I won't eat that my boys used to eat when they were living here, like ramen noodles or brownie mix and they're all going to be living in downtown Atlanta so I'm putting all of that in kind of a 
welcome gift box along with a bunch of cleaning supplies, hint, hint, boys, um, so that they have things to clean their new place. So there you go. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this workout. If it boosted your mood like it did for mine, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more workouts like this, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you are notified every time I post a workout or some other helpful tip that's going to help you look and feel your best. Until next time, see you guys.